directed to Steve Vick and also to Vito. Thank you for sponsoring House Bill 666, there's an ominous number, to repeal the obscenity exemption for children's material in schools and libraries. Thank you, Representative. Except Public Representative Amador, who is absent or abstained from the vote, for voting to pass it. However, Senator Widner has set this drawer of the bill, so it won't be considered in the House. Please share with us what can be done to keep this bill active and get to the Senate for a vote and veto. This was pretty upsetting. I was outraged when I saw the headline in the, uh, yesterday morning. Uh, thought it needed to be addressed publicly, but that is certainly not, not appropriate. I don't know what is going through the pro tem's mind when he calls us juvenile, when he calls us uh, crazy, uh, mischievous. If you had seen the material that is being presented in school libraries and in city libraries, if it's not pornography, then it is, oh wait, it's pornography. It's pornography in cartoon form, in, in teaching form, and the, I went through the material. Some of it's written, some of it uh, uh, describing rape, describe, depicting outrageous, and it is a crime to distribute pornography to minors unless you're a school or a library. It is a crime to kill pre-born babies unless the mommy decides to do it. Idaho has just as twisted as you can get as far as these laws are concerned. But here is material that we, I mean, we, we, didn't, we didn't keep it secret. We just kept it confidential because it's so, okay. And, and so what the pro tem is, did he not see the material? How can he say that, well, and he doesn't even have, you know, he didn't say that they were going to hear it. He just bet that, they, that the State Affairs Committee wasn't going to hear it. He wasn't demanding that it not be heard, maybe he was signaling that it shouldn't be heard, but to accuse the House of craziness without looking at the material and at least judging this man won the Friends for Life Award for, with the I Don't Choose His Life several years ago. This man is a pro-life man, and for him to have the perspective that we're crazy on trying to protect minors is mind-boggling. That was the Steve and I, you guys. Mm -hmm. you want to bring it on down. Bring it on down. That was Steve's part. Now it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, you wanted to speak to it? I've got some specific information. Sure. Um, I don't know how many of you subscribe to the Coeur d'Alene Press, but uh, two weeks ago on Sunday, on the front page of the article, uh, front page of the paper, they had an article about how the Coeur d'Alene Library board or administrators were refusing to sequester certain books that were in the children's section. The names of the two of them that were listed in the article were princes, not princess, but princes and knights. Okay, this isn't Sleeping Beauty and Prince Charming, so you have to draw your own conclusions. And that knight is a K, not a K. A K, yes, a K. Uh, and then the second book that they talked about that they had a small picture of was the hips of the drag queen go swish, swish, swish. And they had pictures of three drag queens on the front of that cover. Now, as some of you remember several years ago, there was a drag queen event over in Spokane at the library. Several of us in this room uh, went to that to, to see what was going on. Um, I'm hesitant to say, but I have a copy of some of the material that uh, was shown to Pro Tem Winder and others. It was not passed around on the House floor. I've looked at several of these pictures and I have not looked at them all. I was just too disgusted. So if anyone wants to see some of the material that's down in the Meridian Library available to children, you can come up afterwards and take a look at it. And I think you'll make the same conclusion. When we first moved here to Post Falls back in 96, um, I think there were some issues about how the library computers were not filtered to keep that kind of pornography away from kids. That finally got fixed and I thought the issue was resolved. About two years ago, this issue came up in a slightly different form in the legislature. I serve on the Education Committee and I was surprised to find out that 
the Wi-Fi available in public libraries was not filtered. And so we had the, uh, the uh, director of the library commission come in and complain to us that it would cost too much money to do that. So when kids come in with their own devices and hook up to the library Wi-Fi, it was totally unfiltered with a lot of pressure and I think it was only like $5,000 per library where this new software would be required. I have never met such an arrogant person to resist a request to protect our children based on some puny amount of money to cover individual libraries. It, it was just heartbreaking. Hello. Oh. Sorry about that. So um, I had done some work on this issue with uh, Representative Mitchell in the Moscow Lewiston area, and um, I have information, obviously, like everybody does on the books. But uh, he went a step further and has screenshots from the internet of what libraries have those titles available. So it's not a he said, she said, it's the actual screenshot, and I've done some work there. So, um, and I've gotten in District 4 a lot of um, complaints on my vote for 666, and I understand that people have their opinions, that's fine. But I've also sent that information out, and people are now starting to thank me for that vote. Um, specific to uh, Senator Winder, I saw him at a function, I think it was Wednesday or Thursday, and we talked about it, and I said, you know, my father taught me a saying that says where there's smoke there may not be fire but where there's smoke there's definitely smoke and so i sent an email with those titles obviously that we all have and i had listed out the libraries that they're available at and those are high school libraries as well as public libraries so by definition with minors and we have the screenshots of where they are and there's one middle school library and this is these are sexual acts and that's what they are sexual acts and so I, I, I told you, I'm going to send them to you if you'd like some screenshots, but I think it's important to look at it before we make decisions as critical as this on that bill. So I just want to let you know, and again, I'm, not, I'm just saying what all these guys, these people have said is accurate, you know, and it's something we've got to be very, very vigilant on. Thank you.